Well, hey everyone and welcome to another video. So this video is my second attempt at trying to do a epoxy table. If you didn't see the first one, then I will leave a link somewhere, either down below or up here somewhere. And I still have that table up on the second floor there. For that table, I didn't add any epoxy on the top. I just surface coated it with some uh, line seed oil and uh, varnish. But this time I'm gonna try to add a bit, little bit of epoxy on the top and just cover the entire surface. And one thing that I wanna experiment this time is, is actually burning the wood and then sanding it. So let's do some experiment in here and hopefully everything will, and hopefully this project will turn out nicely. So you're probably gonna laugh, but I've been drying this plank out under my bed for the past mm, seven or eight months. So I think it's dry enough and it shouldn't warp after I finish this thing. So I got my plank over here, this very expensive router bit. Then I got some sanding tools here. Bunch of sanding pieces. So let's try to do something here. So this plank is kind of all over the place right now. It's crooked, it's banana, it's twisted. So first things first, I have to flatten it out and I'm going to use this router bit to do so. Man, this bit is massive. Looks beefy as hell. Oh man, this bit is so large, it doesn't even fit through my guiding hole here. Ah, oh, never mind. I have to make sure this thing doesn't move. Huh. How am I gonna make sure that this backside doesn't move? Wait. I have an idea. I really wish I had an anvil, you know, but I don't, so yeah. Pretty dope setup here right now. But anyway, let's flatten this thing and you music.
I should have done uh, one more pass because there is like maybe half a millimeter here that is still unflattened. But I'm thinking I'm gonna cut this edge off anyway, so there's no point doing the entire surface because of that. Guys, check it out how flat this thing is now. So this flattening bit overall did a pretty good job. Until next time, my friend. But anyway, next order of business, some fire. Should probably take this thing outside. So this is the epoxy resin that was left over from my last project. It looks like it's some kind of jelly in there. And it's not liquid at all. It pretty much looks like a hardened jelly or something like that. So I'm gonna put this into warm water and hopefully that will do the trick. Hi. <laughs> so I will get back to this later and hopefully this will do the trick. So while the epoxy kind of warms up, let's try to sand this thing down. I'm, I'm kind of hoping that I don't need to reburn this. But I guess we'll see. Maybe I need to reburn this after sanding. And really, to be honest, I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of winging it. I want a consistent black going on here and after sanding it you can see these white lines also my, also my hand looks very nice but it's smooth as butter now and I can reburn this and then sand it again with a random random orbit sander I think it kind of looks interesting like this as well I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do here Okay, I think I'm just gonna reburn this thing and resand it. But before I actually do that, um, I want to make sure that uh, I also got the sidings off here. So let's do that now. I need to make sure that these sides are pretty flat and uh, straight.
Okay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna go reburn this and then resand the surface. So this is after the second burn and also I did the sides. I'm not sure if that was a good idea. I think it looks neat. So this thing looks pretty neat, I kinda like it. So next thing that I have to do is make the forms for the epoxy bore. So I got some random melanin boards here that I can use. Keep in mind that I don't really want to sand the epoxy. I'm hoping it will kinda level itself out as much as possible. Because once you sand the epoxy you need to go really extreme grit on the sandpaper to get it clear again. So I want to avoid that uh, and I'm just hoping that the epoxy will kind of settle itself out. I don't know guys, looks pretty solid to me, should be fine. Alright, so this thing has been in the warm water for about 6 hours now, let's check it out. Oh yeah, this is a lot better now, it's like water now. So this is the resin that is left over from my last project and to my knowledge the epoxy itself does not expire, but the hardener does. It's recommended to use the hardener in a one year time, because it will start to turn yellow if you don't. At least that's what uh, was told to me. I'm thinking I probably have a bit too much for this table, but I'm still gonna use every ounce of it uh, and I'm gonna only pour it on the top section here. I don't want to pour any epoxy on the under section. So I'm guessing I'm just gonna cut this uh, container open and then pour all the epoxy in here because uh, the ratio should be correct. If I did it correctly last time, then what's left now is a perfect ratio, pretty much. So I just need to mix these two containers together, and I should get, and I should get a decent ratio epoxy glue going here. I need a bigger container. Crap.
so I'm gonna let it sit for a bit for all the bubbles to kind of come up Man, that thing looks like a extremely polished black piano. But anyway, while this thing cures here, I'm gonna go do the leg now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this thing. I mean, what else I'm gonna do with this thing? Might as well just try to use it. Got the plate for the leg. The leg itself, and then another flat piece of steel for the table there. Okay guys, change of plan, I'm gonna use this mounting plate for the um, slab itself.
Now I'm not sure yet, but I might need to change the tilt. Maybe I need to add some kind of support here as well. I guess we'll see that later. I'm not going to paint it just yet. I will make sure that the plank will sit here correctly. But anyway, let's go check out how the epoxy has cured up. So I think this thing has cured here long enough. Uh, I did add some protection to cover it up because a couple of flies flew into the epoxy and it was really annoying to get them out and then smooth the epoxy out again. So I'm hoping no more flies manage to get in here. It looks pretty solid, I think. And I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna sand it even. I need to get a better hammer, this is crap. Good thing I added this thing down here. That would have been pretty awkward to explain if I would have messed up this floor. The epoxy even flowed through the wood itself. So I was thinking what the hell I'm gonna do about these sides. Actually I have an interesting idea I'm gonna try out. I think it's gonna look... I think it's gonna look pretty good. Let's see how it goes.
Look at my freaking clothes here. It's like snowing epoxy. It was worth it though. Check it out. This is smooth as butter. I have to do this on all four sides now. Oh yeah, I like when things are clean. I mean, it looks pretty cool, but I'm not sure if it's that stable. For example, if I put any weight on here, the back end kind of... I'm guessing the plate here is not thick enough it should be heavier steel i mean one option that i do have is drill a couple of holes here and then i can just anchor this thing to the floor or i can just or i can just move it up front actually it's a bit more better now i mean sure it wants to go this way but once i lock it from this port i think it should be fine all right so i think this uh, leg will work out fine it's kind of inter interesting looking lead to be honest it also seems pretty level the table underneath this is perfectly level both ways and the table here can you stop bouncing please level Level. Level. And level. So, this is probably the first level thing I have ever done in my life. I'm gonna re. I'm gonna weld this shut to make sure that this does not come loose somehow. And then let's paint this thing. Probably should put better gloves on. It doesn't really matter how it looks for me, as long as it's strong enough, and this will probably never break, unless you drive over this thing with a dozer or something.
All right, so let's wait until this thing dries out and then we can finally mount the table somewhere. Just looking for the expire date. 2016. Hmm. Okay, let's just pretend we did not see that. Let's just fix this. 2673. Yeah, I think this is fine. Okay, so I'm gonna wait until this thing kind of dries up. So this is how it turned out. I'm not really sure should I finish this epoxy with clear coat varnish or not. I don't really want to sand this because I sanded this with grit 400 and it's completely matte and I don't really want matte. I want glister clear. I probably need to go higher grit to get glister clear but yeah I'm not sure I want to not sure I'm bothered to do that. Plus one more thing. Um, I think I should have probably sanded it a bit more down. Right now in a low light area you can't really see much. Unless you shine some kind of light on it. And you can actually see the wood grain. So probably should have sanded this a bit more down. To make it more. To make it less dark. But there is a major problem here right now. We are missing something, so we're missing a DV. And I, I don't really have a DV, I don't, I've never owned a DV. Why did I make a DV table when I don't even own a DV? Seems like a major flaw in my plan right there. Alright, so I think I can fix that. I'm just gonna go and borrow a DV. Actually, I had to make some room here for probably the most important thing in existence, and that's a PlayStation 1. There we go. Oh yeah. More power, please. I wonder what do I even have in here? Okay. Gonna party tonight, guys. Keep in mind, guys, this thing has probably not run since I was a little kid mm, so I'm guessing maybe like 15 or 16 years I have not started this thing huh wow it actually works the colors are messed up though and there's no sound but it actually works I guess it doesn't work I do have a legit game quick too so maybe let's try that. 
It works! All the games except Resident Evil work. Kinda of weird. I mean, there's no sound. But whatever. This was totally worth it. Right, my eyes started to hurt, so I'm gonna stop now. So overall, I'm pretty happy how this table came out. Like I said, I'm a bit disappointed how dark it looks. But, yeah, maybe maybe it's not an issue. Also, I like how this table gives you a sort of illusion that it's just hovering. Especially when I put this mat there, so you can't see the leg. And it looks like it's hovering. I think it looks pretty interesting. But anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up now. At least I got a place to set my broken PS1. I'm not sure why the picture is grey and there's no audio. Maybe there's something wrong with the TV. I'm pretty sure this worked last time, so... I'm not sure what's going on. But, as always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.